What is up, everybody? Escape211 back with some Mech Arena, and today we're going to be talking about this event for the new Grav Beam 16. I've not been able to test this one, and this is one where you actually get eight coins for it. Um, so I worked to get my one free spin. Um, this actually has some, you know, this weapon seems okay, but a lot of things are not good, so I don't recommend it for many people. But I don't really need the eight coin trade in, so I am going to go for a spin and hope I get lucky. This is one of those weapons that I. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh man i'm gonna say this is one of those weapons i'd like to get but if i don't it's not a huge deal but that's really cool i'm gonna have to take a screenshot of that um and uh that'll help us out for this uh playoff too but let's pop it on the panther all right so i set this up on panther for our test run this is stock i actually only have mako on him uh, because my um my Yeti is set up with like jabs and I'm not going to spend the money to take them off. But uh, even though I'm playing with this man, I got to say, I have not been playing Mech Arena for the past few days. Some of you have noticed that I hadn't signed on for a few days, but that is because I was trying a theory out with this playoff. Okay, I really think that just like Tourney, as soon as you start playing, it puts you, or as soon as you start doing achievements, it puts you in a bracket with people. So if you actually don't play like because you and most of these things that you do to get put in your bracket are just basic daily stuff let's see oh that's not bad i didn't get the kill though um i have this set up with the stasis beam 16. my stasis beam 16 is not maxed um but it's pretty formidable oh no i'm gonna get disc launcher oh man thank you surge you saved my butt this would have been a very short early test run with this that guy got me Ooh, let's get this guy the, um, the rate, yeah, like I've said before on these is not amazing. Uh, I didn't look at it specifically in the 16 for where I have it um, at the base level. But they put these at a lower star rating. Oh, crap. They put these at a lower star rating than what was actually the star rating for these designed to be. Um, so it is, it is pretty darn weak. I think it's either three or four star, but three or four star like at this stage for a beam weapon is usually not too great. Um, I mean, look, it, it can do pretty decent chunks of damage. I would like to see two of them together, but I'll have to wait until I'm six star for that. Definitely going to try it, though. I do want to do some different testing with this now that I have it. So, Ruffles, if you happen to see this video and you want to do some testing, buddy, you let me know. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, playoffs usually have basic events of opening crates or doing like certain things. Ah, dang it. Doing certain things every day. Um... So as soon as you start doing this stuff, I'm pretty sure it puts you in a bracket of 100 players. So honestly, I stopped playing or didn't play Macarena for like three or four days. Actually, I think it was four, maybe five days um, to not get put in a bracket. And it felt like I was I'm in an easier bracket right now and I'm able to hold my own near the top of it. And I don't always recommend this because there's a lot of people that have to do things daily and like you still have to invest probably a little. I happen to get this new weapon um, and there happened to be the other uh, event crate that's only uh, credits. So I think I was fortunate this time. But, you know, man, I, I really hate the way these playoffs are designed. They're really just a payoff. That's all it is. Whoever spends the most money or grinds the most. It feels like tourney, but it's even worse because it's money spending and it's a huge advantage. Some of these items, I'm surprised. This new pilot, they didn't even talk about or say that it's coming. We didn't get to test it. Nobody knew it was coming and then it was just in a playoff. Like, it's crazy how they're doing this now. The way they're just like dropping new content left and right and they're using this method to do it, which I really am not a fan of. Um... Now, I'm not, I, I wasn't wanting this to be like a rant video about playoffs, but I just want to express how terrible the method is. I really hate it. Um, and I think it's just, you know, it, it just encourages one style of play or just spending habits for people to make sure they get it. And a lot of these items come up in money offers like a week or two later that you can get for like less than 10 bucks. So if you're a pocket change player, you can wait like a week or two and still get the item without having to overspend to get one of these top spots. So I don't know, man. I just think playoffs are insane. Um, I happen to get lucky with this one and I think taking breaks is probably what I'll try to do, but you know, we'll see. But hey, uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see with the Grav Beam 16, what you think of playoffs, but otherwise we'll see you out there.
on the battlefield.